I love that we're going back. Again? Little Tarantino. How many times? This is me. This is my way of dealing with it, and I'm done trying to explain it to you. Yes, yes, this is my life now, and I'll live it on my terms. Now remember. What did you just say? Uh, these two bad time? started hooking up <laughs> three weeks ago, time. so this is probably just, just the start of that. Requested. Not now. I said not now. Well, I didn't mean to upset you. It's not you. Seems like out here we're we're all running away from something. I know I am. You were caught up in that mess at the checkpoint. You shot that woman. It's okay. You could talk to me. It's just everyone seems to have an opinion on it. I'm dealing with it in my own way. Are you? You got your own problems. You say that again. And whoever that was, that sounded like a, a gold medal asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, you'll deal with it. Just say the word. And I'll handle it for you. <laughs> Whoa. That was okay. Sacrificial chamber. Jason. Jason, you're here. The game really did lead us on to think that these guys were all toast. Um, the curator confirmed that Eric is dead. The only thing I can think of that would have maybe saved him was not bringing Clarice along with the group. Nick, I thought I lost you. I thought I'd lost you. It seems pretty clear that they want us having these two end up together instead of... Oh, shit. Oh, that's Balathu, I think. I mean, the bullets just don't do anything, so... Just motor. Over there. Uh, keep running. He's different, right? Like, he doesn't seem to... He wants to just destroy. He doesn't seem, like, intent on... ...converting or whatever. Oh, damn! Nice. I don't know what it is about him that makes him... He's, he's just a little different from all the others that we've seen. It's unkillable. <laughs> oh, 
that was too close back there. We're still breathing. We've not all been so lucky. All that matters is you're okay. And she's very, like, hot and cold here. Do we need to talk? About what? About us. I need to know what's happening with us. If I die tonight, I want to die knowing where I stand with you. Dude, it's been three weeks. We have a future together. Eric was a good man. But he's gone. Rachel. I can't lose you. Not now. Not ever. You better stay close then, Marine. I ain't going nowhere. Hmm. I can't lose you. Not now. Not ever. Didn't he just... <laughs> I think he just said that. It's Jason. He's alive. We should go. Let's go find Jason. Thirty four hundred feet. This is definitely where the premonition happened. I've seen some fucked up shit in my life. Nothing comes close to this. They don't seem to be following. Do you like to wait for them or don't need to be a smart ass? Just move. Okay, stay alert for danger. Yeah, clearly. Another finds ledger from Van Hoyten. Okay, November 29th. Many finds in the temple confirm our hypothesis the temple was used for sacrifice. We know that a century-long drought afflicted the Akkadian Empire, the same dry spell that affected the Old Kingdom in Egypt. The drought caused the abandonment of many cities across Mesopotamia and drew the Gutian barbarian tribes down from the mountains to the plains, bringing them into conflict with the Akkadians. In this temple, we see evidence of an increasingly desperate attempt to turn the tide by appeals to the gods. Related find some of that onyx. Uh, onyx stones were symbolic of negative energy and of calamity, perhaps due to the belief that evil Udug demons inhabited the earth. And this R19 hold stone, the stone shows figures praying towards an eclipse combined with R6, the onyx, the piece portrays an eclipse that presages a disaster. Oh, okay, so those go together, R6 and R19. Cool. So that probably fills out that, um, where is it? This bottom section somewhere? Seeing it listed separately, but this onyx here and this piece here. See how there's that hole in there? That onyx piece would fit in there. So we're still missing whatever this is uh, to complete this little set, but. Jeez. Now whose face is that? Mauled. Is that Kolchak? He looks different without a hat, so it's kind of hard to tell, but it must be him. So we're holding a flare. And then the head gets crushed. <laughs> Jeez. Let's try and avoid our head getting crushed. Guys, that would be... You're like rats or mice or something. Oh, what is that? the cocoon? It looks like those things came from here. Those things. Since when did you become a scientist? 
Okay, where does that one fit in? So, bearing the impression of an inhuman creature filled with unknown fluids. This is connected to here. Parasitic organism grew inside Mary Hodgson's skin during the final hours of her infection, which also then links with this. Notes describe the shocking symptoms of unknown and deadly infection. Seems that exposure to the creatures can cause severe sickness. Okay. They don't teach you American science at school. We should stay clear of it. to Randolph Hodgson. Maybe he's got some intel that could help. Yeah, that would be nice. Could help him. <laughs> Great. Ah, shit. That's new. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff going on down here. Anything we can look at here? It is leaned up against one of those cocoons. Oh, there is something here. It's got kind of a unique design on the front. I wonder if we should be recognizing that. Nothing I can check here, I don't think. Unless we get to open it. There we go. Mary Hodgson. She's got to be his wife. Yeah. Her story didn't end so well. And we and we saw the the well, writings about Mary. I can't end up like this. Okay, I'm gonna check these again. I'm just gonna keep checking these as they come in now. Watch case of the portrait of a woman on the inside. That's connected to here. Dead woman with an iron tent peg buried in her chest. And this person, uh, bloodless corpse. These all link into here. These are all, like, this is a huge connection with all of his, um, like, diary entries and stuff. Should be another one. When this temple falls, my wife and I will be something. I owe her that at least. The portrait that I carry in my watch case is the Mary that I remember, not that whatever creature beast. This was all Lady Bradshaw's doing. She knew all along what was down here. She led us to them. I found her below, hunched over the murdered corpse of Van Hoyten. As she turned to face me, I saw that she had changed. My hand fell to the closest weapon I could find, an iron tent peg. I stabbed her with the metal, impaling her in the heart. She died. Unholy screams echoed from deep below, as if answering the sudden release of blood. So when we originally saw that body, I had thought that maybe they stabbed themselves because they were changing, but... He actually ended up having to kill his own wife <laughs> in a very visceral manner. Okay. What the hell is this? Feels like we're entering another dimension. In Makanda. Yeah, what you said. That's cool. 
<gasps> I mean, if we do die down here, there's worse places to go, probably. Looks like... Like hell. <laughs> what is this hell? Yeah. We're on the same page. Is this even real? <sighs> we are being judged. God is punishing us all for the mistakes we've ever made. Zane is all I have left in this world. After my wife left us, I gave him my all. I wanted him to have everything I didn't. Single parent. It's a fucking gig. It is. But my boy has made me very proud. He's going to London, to university. If only he would stop stealing. Is your conscience clear, Jason? Hmm. Not exactly because of what happened at that checkpoint. Green zone. Checkpoint. What checkpoint? Nick and I, we were caught in traffic. Checkpoint had been hit before by suicide bombers. There was a woman. She was carrying a bag. Fuck. Tell me. I ordered... I ordered for her to stop. Loud and clear. But she didn't. She just kept on walking. I, uh, I had to make a call. Nick, he shot her dead. What was in the bag? Oh. Groceries. That's, I don't understand. That's rough. Why didn't she stop? She probably didn't understand. She didn't hear me. She had fucking headphones on. <laughs> this. This bullshit. I'm not here to honor the dead. Truth is, my life was going nowhere fast. I jumped at the chance to sign up. We all have our reasons. They don't have to be profound. Profound, huh? When those towers were hit. Now it's stoned out of my fucking skull. I didn't even hear about it till a week later. How's that for profound? So he's got a lot of his I don't even own know demons. What the fuck I'm doing here. You're serving your country. That woman had a family, friends. She had her whole life in front of her, and we snuffed it out with a single bullet. I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, that's heavy. I can hear you thinking. We're waiting for something to happen. Maybe we should take the initiative and make something happen. What do you have in mind? We go inside there, and we find a way to hurt them. Those fucking things tried to fuck with our heads. They tried to kill us. But you and I, we're both standing. Start believing, Salim. We're gonna get out of here and see the sun again. Is that what you truly believe? Oorah! 
What on earth is that sound? It's a marine thing. Oh. So, does that make me a marine too? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> okay. Hey. Okay, so they're coming they full circle here. I've got your back. That's good. We'll stand together. It's the only way. I mean, it's almost alien Cthulhu. Who? I don't even know. Okay, what? What is this? That better be a statue. Looks like a like kind of like a buried uh, city or a ship even. Who knows? Explore the unknown, find a way to strike back. This gotta be where those things come from. I think so. The question is, where the hell are they? Look at that. What the hell? See, these are like, like seats or something, like thrones. Some type of observation table, maybe? Stay close. I ain't going nowhere. This moth is everywhere. Is it just me or is it alive? Creatures. No. It's possible we've got this wrong way around. What's that supposed to mean? Maybe we were intruding on them. You think? Oh, that's coming. Yeah, that's that's a thing. That's definitely a thing. Oh, Wait, check this out. <laughs> Sounds like music. Mysterious artifact. Is that maybe not music? It's coming from that? The language. Uh the journal entry describes how Randolph Hudson killed Lady Bradshaw after she succumbed to the darkness. And then this thing is on its own. Don't like that. Strange handheld device that emits a sonic cord when touched. It seems the creatures use advanced technology to craft sonic devices of unknown purpose. Seen those motherfuckers, they're not exactly the chatty type. We shouldn't underestimate them. Look at this place. Those things are intelligent. Hmm. 
Okay, so we can actually climb back up there too. Like, maybe these things were... could move. Maybe they're not just chairs, but like, uh... Like a vehicle of sorts. But it's curious as to why they have died Sorry. in them. Check this out. It's one of those creatures. Only older. Ancient. You don't think it's alive, do you? Touch it. <laughs> you touch it. Pussy. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, do we have to? I d what if I don't want to do that? <sighs> you only live once. Oh shit. Whoa. It's just disintegrated. Did you see that? Of course I fucking saw it. That creature is fossilized. Must be millions of years old. Kind of feels like, uh, Zen from Half-Life a little bit. Speaking of, I should revisit that series, uh, Black Mesa version, and play through the whole thing, including the final Zen levels now that it's been completed for a couple years.